This is the mantis shrimp. It has one of the most advanced vision systems in the world. Humans have three types of color receptive cones, red, blue, and green. Butterflies have five, and the mantis shrimp has 16. Can you even imagine what a rainbow stemming from 16 colors would look like? Ours comes from just three. In the near future, you might be able to see as much as the mantis shrimp, or even 10 times more than this. The question then becomes, not what we can see, but what we should see, so we can take action and create impact in our communities. Look at the yellow flower, for example. This is how we see it. This is how a human sees it. But a bee sees the same flower in a completely different way, because it needs to locate the nectar. The bee can see ultraviolet light. We will be able to expand our vision of the world dramatically with a type of technology called hyperspectral imaging. Hyperspectral imaging combines the power of digital imaging with a chemical technique called spectroscopy, meaning it can collect and process information from across the electromagnetic spectrum far beyond visible light by measuring how light is reflected at hundreds of continuous wavelengths. Now, this technology isn't new. It's been researched for over 20 years in areas like food security, agriculture, medicine, and forensics. But the reason why it's becoming increasingly more relevant for you and me is because of certain trends, like the rapid decrease in the size of hyperspectral sensors, the parallel decrease in the cost of computation, and the exponential increase in image processing power. Some of you might remember the mobile phones of the late 90s compared to the smartphone that's likely in your pocket today. We think the integration of hyperspectral technology could signify as big a shift in helping you to quantify the world around you. Now, I'm not a physicist or a computer scientist or an engineer, but I am a social entrepreneur who is passionate about building a fairer food system. And as a result of a program I went to last year at Singularity University, I learned about a range of different exponential technologies and how they can be applied to try and solve some of the world's biggest problems. The mission of Singularity is to create companies that can impact a billion people in the next 10 years, which I think we can all agree is a relatively easy task. They didn't set the bar too high. But the company that I co-founded is called Impact Vision, and we build products that will help people to interpret the world in a new light. So every object in the world has a unique spectral fingerprint just like every human being has a unique human fingerprint. And this gives us information about their material or chemical composition. We want to build a library of different spectral signatures and work with hardware developers to democratize access to this technology. The size of the sensor is dropping, and companies are already producing consumer-grade hyperspectral sensors, which have the same form factor as smartphone cameras today. And algorithms can be trained in parallel data sets using a type of artificial intelligence called machine learning. So I, I think that many of you must have been hearing with increasing alarm about the amount of food that gets wasted every year around the world. I know that I have. I'm not going to bombard you with statistics, but here's just one. 30 to 50% of the food produced globally every year gets wasted. And this is a tragedy that we just cannot let continue. So we want to use Impact Vision initially to make food supply chains better, smarter, and more resilient. You can imagine our surprise when we spoke to two of the world's biggest fruit distributors who told us that today the sorting process is mostly manual and faulty, leading to large-scale food loss. Our technology can change this. Also, food fraud, which sounds a bit like a BBC3 drama, but is actually a huge problem costing the global economy between 30 to $40 billion a year, could be solved or significantly reduced using hyperspectral technology. So here are some avocados. I'm sure we have some guacamole lovers in the house. How would you choose which ones are best and for, for the guacamole that you want to make at the weekend? How would you determine their freshness? This is our vision. Impact Vision's technology in the form of an app. You're shopping in the supermarket, and you take a photo of a pile of avocados. The Impact Vision cloud analyzes the fruits based on measures like sugar content and moisture, and delivers you a freshness index in real time, so you can plan better and waste less. The orange symbol indicates two days remaining freshness. Blue is four days, and pink is six days. We live in a time of unprecedented smart things, smart objects of every describable nature, I even came across a smart tea infuser the other day, which seems a bit luxurious, but there you go. And sure enough, the smart kitchen of the future is on its way. 
and will be embedded with many different types of sensors for food quality detection and hooked up to your genetic profile for diet advice straight to your smartphone. We want to include hyperspectral technology in these products to help save energy and water and reduce domestic food waste through connected devices in the future kitchen. But the potential of this technology is enormous and goes far beyond food. Blood diseases like leukemia could be detected earlier by making blood cells classification. And hyperspectral imaging has huge potential in disease screening, detection, and diagnosis because it's able to detect biochemical changes due to disease development, like cancer cell metabolism. In the future, you could take a photo of a suspicious mole with your smartphone for an instant diagnosis that is automatically uploaded to your doctor. You can even use hyperspectral imaging to detect for diseases like diabetes or untreatable blindness non-invasively by Im imaging the human retina. On to the environment. This is the Colorado River last year. Three million gallons of water polluted with heavy metals dumped into the river. And of course, this looks polluted, even to our eyes. But what about this? This is Lake Geneva, and you might want to go for a swim there if you are on holiday in Switzerland. This is how it really looks with hyperspectral imaging. All the red area indicates contamination, and you probably wouldn't want to swim anywhere near there. In the future, you will be able to measure this yourself. If we zoom out a bit further, we can see how hyperspectral remote sensing allows a sensor on a satellite to collect information by measuring reflectance from the Earth's surface. We can use this to do things like forecast weather to warn about natural disasters, or track the activities of mining companies, or monitor pollution levels in the ocean. But it's really important to say that one of the best lectures we had last year was from Kentaro Toyama, and it was about how what is technically possible with technology and what actually happens in practice are by no means the same. He spoke about how a deep understanding of a problem, particularly its social, environmental, and political context, is fundamental to solving it. Technology is an amplifier of human conditions, and we should always remember this. But I am really excited about the potential of hyperspectral imaging and what it could mean. Imagine if you could walk into a room and take a photo and find out whether there was asbestos simply by clicking a button. Or if you could go into a shop and take a photo of a dress and get information about whether it was made in unsafe conditions. At the very outer limits of what we can possibly imagine at the moment is being able to detect harmful bacteria like E. coli or salmonella on your clothes or in your food simply by taking a picture. It's difficult because bacteria have low reflectance and they're microscopic, but we think that with advancements in the sensor technology and image classification, this will be possible in the future. When this time comes, you and thousands of other people will use this technology to take action in your communities. If you had impact vision, how would it change your life? Thank you. Thank you.